haul today. As you know by the title, um, I've gone thrifting a lot recently as always and found some pretty cool stuff that I actually really like. Um, I feel like my style is changing to be a lot more simple than what it used to be. Um, and not that my style used to be crazy, but it's just more simple now. Dagmar! Hey! I don't know how long this is going to work with Dagmar being crazy in the background, but, um, really? Um, also, I'm trying out a new lip color. Um, it's pink. I never wear pink. I like corals or, like, purples, um, stuff like that. The occasional, like, brownie nude color. Um, but yeah, I decided to try this, um new lip color out and I don't know if I like it all that much. I don't know. I just don't think pink suits me as like a redhead. Um, um, and also I've had poison oak again for the past two weeks and it is driving me absolutely insane. I've never been so physically uncomfortable in my life. Like and I'm itching now. Like I had it over Christmas and I have it again now. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. She's freaking out. Um, I have Dagmar hairs all over me. <laughs> um, but yeah, so anyway, I have Poison Oak again. Absolutely miserable. I don't even know, like, I was thinking about making a video about it and, like, showing how bad it was, but I just, it's so gross. I don't even want anybody to see it. It's just, it just needs to heal as quickly as possible. It's so frustrating, like, because, like, it's so itchy, but you can't scratch because if you scratch, then it spreads, but it's literally so itchy. Ugh. Like, I would not wish it on anybody. Um, but yeah, so I guess I'm just highly allergic to poison oak and ivy and sumac. Because apparently they all have the same oil that is what causes the reaction. Um, and I actually got it. The reason why I wanted to bring that up is I got it from filming that last video, the, like, style diary. Um, when I was filming that, if you look at the last outfit in the scene where, like, it's like a side shot of, like, my face. And then I'm in front of that little, like, metallic... Um, like guardrail, there's a bunch of plants behind that. There are a bunch of plants behind that, and that's what gave me the poison oak, or whatever it was. I think it was poison oak. Um, because I was looking back at the video, and I remember there being a bunch of plants, and I was like, I bet that damn plant is what gave me this again. Um, but yeah, Ben was out there, and he sat in every shot. Like, I would have him sit down, and then I would film it and show him what I filmed, and be like, this is what I want you to shoot with me in it. So, like, he sat in every spot that I sat in, and he didn't get anything. So, I guess I'm just more allergic than the average person. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's get into the haul. Um, so first off, I want to show you something that I got a while ago. I actually got it almost a year ago, and I just recently got it back because... Um, I got it last summer when I was staying with Ben's family up in Maryland at a thrift store up there and I actually like lost it in their house like I couldn't find it when we moved out and anyway so I found it and this is what it is Ta -da! and it's actually in the last video my outfit video um but yeah it's just a cool little like 90s-esque backpack and I mean I didn't have any like little backpacks all I have is like a North Face and like one of those um Oh god, I always forget what they're called, but it has like the, is it Swissware, I think, with the Red Cross um, book bag. I have one of those for my computer and stuff. Uh, but I wanted like a cool like little like purse book bag, and I thought this one was really cute. I like the shape of it and everything. Um, it has drawstring, it has a clip, and then a little zipper on the front for your phone and like your card and stuff like that. So yeah, and it just has the regular straps. It's not like the zippy strap. Um, I don't know, it was in my last video, and I thought it was really cute, so... I got that. I'm gonna do all the houseware stuff first and then I'll do the clothes. Okay, so the next thing I got, I have a like shelf that's like our little bookshelf in the living room and it has like, of course, all of our books on it and then it has like all my cameras, like my old school vintage cameras that are just decoration up there and then it has like um, all of our old school books and like my plants and stuff, all my cacti are up there. Um, and so I have all these cute little things that I like to put up there and I found this. And it's a little pig, and I just thought it was so freaking adorable, and it has one little watermelon on this side, and then it has three on this side. Um, and it has such cute little eyelashes, and a pig is Ben's favorite animal, so I don't know, it's like a little piggy bank, but I don't think I'm going to use it as one. I just think it's cute to put with my little plants. I think it goes nice with, like, the color that I have out there. 
um, or the colors that I have going on, but I just thought it was too stinking cute to not get. Okay, so the next thing I got, I actually got a bunch of um, brass things, I guess. I think they're brass. Um, is this little guy. And it's a little brass heart punch out e little candle holder votive. Um, yeah, I haven't put an actual candle in it yet. I had like a fake one. Um, like a fake candle in there. One of the little like tea lights you can buy that have um, like a little flickering candle light. I bought one of those. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Um, don't you just hate when like the sticker does not come off all the way? Um, yeah, well that's what happened. Um, I was trying to take the sticker off so I could tell you like what the maker was and if it said it was actually brass or what it is. I mean you can tell it is brass like by the way it feels and everything. Um, but yeah, so I got this guy. Okay, and the next thing that I got um, is a set of three. And I actually got this a while ago. Um, and I meant to put it in my last video, but I forgot to add them in. It is a set of three, like, brass birds. Um, yeah, they're just so freaking cool. Like, I, th I saw these, and it reminds me of, like, the... Like, I know Target has, um, like... All the time they have like those little stickers you can buy with like the little sparrows or whatever and I'm pretty sure these are sparrows because they have like the split tail. I just have to figure out how to hang them because on the back it has this weird little bar. I don't know what these are for because I feel like that that bar like I don't know if they were supposed to be on like a belt or something. I don't know. Um, but it has this weird little bar. I don't know what this goes on. Um, and then these guys have the same thing where it's like a little bar back there and that one has like a little tiny one um but it says handcrafted 100% in England and they're really heavy and like weighty um so I have to figure out how to hang them but I'm going to put them up like where like this mirror is I want to put them like at the bottom or like around the side or something like that when we move into our new apartment because we have like a really nice like white fireplace and I want to put like all my brass like mirrors and like these guys hanging up there so yeah uh these were i think like eight dollars for the set but they were half off so it was like four dollars and that little brass thing was like two dollars or 99 cents something like that um so yeah and that little pig was like three dollars i think um so the next thing i got is another set of brass things and these are just like cool like i'm just like a sucker for any like animal or like like a woodsy kind of thing that's made out of like a nice metal or like wood or something like i like quality like quirky kind of things and I got these guys um at a thrift store and I just thought they were so like cool and unique like it's like Bambi and Bambi's boyfriend like I don't know Bambi was a boy whatever it's Bambi and his boyfriend um it was Bambi I think Bambi was a boy um but yeah I just thought these were so cool like I don't know I mean I think they're neat. This might be a reindeer, actually. It kind of looks like a reindeer. But I think they're a deer. Um, and they look so cool on my bookshelf, like, with my... I have, like, all my cacti up there, like, my terrariums and stuff. Terrain is What is it? Terrarium or terranium? I don't know what the word is for it, but you know what I mean. My cacti and then my, um, all my plants and my books. And these guys are just sitting up there, like, in front of the books. These are so freaking cool to me. Um, and I actually don't remember how much these were because the sticker... They weren't priced on them. I had to ask how much they were but um they're super heavy and nice and it says they are tandy brass made in Taiwan so yeah I got these guys okay then the last thing that I got that's a homeware item I've been keeping my tripods in it but I don't know what I'm actually gonna use it for like once we move and stuff um it's just this I thought it was really pretty it was five bucks at the thrift store and um I like how it has the oh wait yeah $4.99 um, I like how it has, like, this nice little shape right here, so it's not, like, sitting flat on the ground, like, it's hollowed out. Um, and then it has the cool, like, cutout on the front, and then the little handle. So I've just been having, like, I have, like, three or four tripods. Well, I have four tripods. One of them's, like, a, a, not really a tripod, it's, like, a stand for, like, lighting, um, and stuff like that. But I keep those guys stacked in here. And it holds them nicely because before I just had them like pushed into a corner, like leaning in a corner. Um, and I'd always like, they'd always like fall behind the radiator or like I'd forget they were there. But now I have a handy dandy place to put them, but I might not keep them in here. I might put dog toys in this when we move or something. I don't know. It might be a fruit basket. Who knows? I think it was ori originally, um, pretty sure it wasn't originally a trash can. But. It is the sassiest trash can I've ever seen in my life, so I'm going to put something cooler than that in here. 
Okay, and now on to the clothes. Finally, um, I found, I have a few other things, um, that actually, okay, yeah, sorry. I had a few other things that, um, I actually found one right here that I got the last, last month. I'm gonna add them into this video, um, but basically it was like three white tops. Um, this white one, it's kind of crinkly, it's in the laundry right now because I wore it for that video, and it does not look as good right here as it does on. This is the same white shirt that I had on in that outfit with the flannel shirt, the one where I like got infected with poison ivy, or poison oak, whatever. Um, and the tag was cut off when I bought it, so I don't know what brand it is, but I saw it and I was like, eh, I don't want to get it. But then I was like, you know what, I do want like a cropped-ish white t-shirt, so I ended up picking it up, and it's super soft too. Um, so yeah, I got that from the thrift store for like a dollar, um, and it's in that last outfit in my last video if you want to see what it looks like on. And then the shirt I have on right now is also one that I got last time. I just have it cuffed up. It's a, literally just like a men's Hanes t-shirt in a small or an extra small or something, um, and it was like 50 cents, so I just decided to go and pick it up. Um, but yeah, so the next thing that I got was this guy, and it's just another white shirt, but um... I liked the shape of this. It comes down pretty low. Um, I have to get a different bra because the nude bra that I would wear this with um, kind of shows like right here and then like right there. So I need to get a different one that's like um, like a plunging bra so that way you can't see anything. Or I could wear this with like a bralette or something like that. I probably will do that actually because I have a few bralettes already. Um, but yeah, just a basic white tank-ish shirt pretty regular, pretty standard. Um, and then this shirt, and then I got a white long sleeve shirt too. I always buy those because they always get messed up, so whenever I find one that I like and fits me, I go ahead and grab it. Okay, so now on to what I got today. Um, so first things first, I'm the realist. Just kidding. Um, this is a bra, it's called Fashion Forms in a B. This is definitely an A, like, oh, this might be a B. I don't know, maybe my boobs have grown. But it's like, oh, where's the strap? Oh no! Did I lose the strap? Oh, I'm gonna be so upset if I lost the strap. Um, it's like this, um, it's all wrinkly because it was in the bag. But it's a, like, this is an underwire piece, like, it doesn't fold, it's just this piece. And then it has these guys that go, like, underneath your arm, and then there's a strap that hooks right here and right here, and then it, like, holds that together, and the strap is, like, four inches long. Um, but it's really nice, and it has places where you can do, like, over-the-arm straps, too. But it fits perfectly, and it's nice for, like, um... I don't know why I'm holding that on myself. Um, but, like, it's nice for, like, lower tops or... Um, tube tops or just tops where you don't want your bra straps hanging out like um, like this guy I got last summer and when I wear my nude bra you can see the straps like completely obviously even if I wear a nude bra so I got this guy and I can wear this underneath it and you won't see my bra straps so I decided to go ahead and get it since it fit and I like that the cups are rounded I don't like it when bras are like you know what I mean like where they like stick out in the middle and then it's like dented right there a lot of bras seem to be shaped like that, and I don't like it. I like mine to be flat, like my chest. <laughs> Kidding, but really. Um, okay, the next few things that I got, um, and I don't know how much that was. I don't know how much laundry normally runs. I can't remember. Um, so the next thing I got is this skirt, and it's H&M Divided, and it's just a gray skater skirt. It's showing up a little blue on camera, but it's pretty regular gray. Um, and it's made of a really, like, nice thick material. Like, typically the skirts you find at Forever 21 and, like, H&M seem to be really, like, thin and flimsy. Um, but this has, like, a nice hem on it. It's like, um, like a thick t-shirt material almost. Um, but yeah, so I thought about wearing this with, like, a white crop. Like, um, I got a white cropped shirt a few videos ago with, like, this and then some brown sandals and a brown bag. I thought that would be nice to wear together. And this was $3.99. Okay, the next thing, there's only two more things after this. Um, I found a pair of Lauren Conrad pants, and these are just a regular pair of skinny jeans. 
But I want to get into wearing navy more because I never wear, I don't, I don't, I mean I wear jeans, but I don't like wearing jeans. I like wearing like solid color for pants. I don't like wearing like faded stuff. The only exception to that is those boyfriend jeans that I got like the last haul, I think. Um, I love those boyfriend jeans. Like I wear those all the time. If I'm going to wear jeans, those are the kind that I'm going to wear. Um, but anyway, so I got these guys, these bad boys right here and they're Lauren Conrad and um they fit perfectly they're like I don't know how to describe them like they they fit like another pair of jeans that I have um but they're like they're like a thinner they're not even like a jean material it's like I don't know what it, it's almost like a canvas it's like a thin canvas material but anyway they're navy jeans skinny and I tried them on with this other shirt I'm going to show you next and it looked so good um, with my brown shoes I had on in my brown purse, so that's what I plan on wearing it with, is like, maybe even like that white tank that's in there, like white tank, navy pants, brown shoes, and a brown bag, I think it would look so nice together. Um, alright, so two more things, and then we are done. Um, alright, so this shirt, okay, yeah, uh, let me fix this really quick. Okay. So this next shirt, um, and those pants were, and those pants were two dollars. Um, this next shirt I got is from Equal. I don't know. That looks like a TJ Maxx brand, one of the random brands they have. Um, and one of the sleeves are rolled up, and one of them is not rolled up. This one is. This one's not rolled up. Um, I'm gonna tuck that guy. But yeah, it does not look as good. Just thrown up here with my hands as it does on, but it looks so good on. This is like a, like a, um, like a linen material, like a, like, beach kind of material. Um, and it's just white. It's more of an off-white, actually. It's not actually white. Um, and it has these two top pockets in the front, and then it buttons up, like, right here in the front, like that. Um, and it actually looks really nice. I don't usually like shirts that button up, like, all the way like this, but... I mean, this one looked really good on, so I was like, definitely, yes, I want it. Um, and then, like, on this side, you can see the sleeves. You can have them all the way down to quarter length. And then, at the bottom, it has these little ties, which I will not be tying this, because if you, like, pull it tight, it looks really weird. So I'm just going to let them hang, and I might cut them off. Um, but yeah, I thought this would look really nice with those navy pants and some brown sandals and a brown bag. So that's probably what I want to wear that with. All right. So the last thing I got is this white sweater, and it's from 525 America, and it's in a medium, and it's just a really, like, um, I'm trying to describe the white. It's like a, almost a blue white, because it's so white, um, but it's a really heavy knit, uh, sweater, and it has a longer back than the front, and then it has a little slit right here on the side, um, and a full length sleeve. And that's about it. I don't know what else to say about it. It's just a really nice white sweater. And it has really nice, like, seaming, like, right here. You can see, and then in the front. It's just really nice and thick, and I didn't have a white sweater. And I also thought this would look really nice with, like, a pair of, um, black shorts. Or even, like, with khaki pants or something, this would look really nice. Um, and I just didn't have any white sweaters. I have, like, every other color but this. And I'm actually kind of scared to wear this because I'm probably going to ruin it the first time I wear it. I think that's everything. Um, well, this guy's new too, right here, this little silver tray, but you can't see it from that far away anyway. Um, but yeah, that, <coughs> that is about it. <coughs> I'm like dying. Um, anyway, so that is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed everything. Um, sorry I didn't try everything on in this video, but like I said, I have poison oak, and I don't want to contaminate everything with my poison oak and then keep getting it, so I'm just trying to, like, be as, like, quarantined and sterile as I possibly can be for the next, like, week until this, like, rectifies. Um, but yeah, so just a little update, too. Um, I will be moving out of this apartment into our new apartment in less than a month, which is super exciting because it's going to be bigger, nicer, closer to campus. Um, I've been running more lately. I've been running about four to five miles a day until I got poison oak. Then I couldn't run because my legs hurt so bad. Um, but I'm getting back into that and I'm probably going to start running with our athletic trainer at school. He's like my, and Ben's 
good friend on campus. Um, but I'm probably going to be running with him soon because he does marathons and I want to run a marathon next year. Like that's my goal. So I'm going to start training with him over this next year. I might try to run cross country this next year. I'm not sure. Um, but what else? Poison Oak, running, moving, and I also am in summer classes. I'm taking a photo editing class and a Spanish class and then next month it's a Spanish 2 class and then an English class. Um, so I'm trying to get in four classes over summer and then next year is my last year and I will graduate with a degree in liberal studies. I already have that degree. I finished that up this semester. Um, so I'll have a I already have my degree in liberal studies and then next year I'm finishing my degree in photojournalism so I will walk across the stage with two degrees next year, cross my fingers, knock on wood that it happens because um, who knows what might come up but hopefully I can get through this next year of another cold Pittsburgh winter and being in school. Okay, my camera shut off so I think it's telling me I need to be quiet. Um, the last thing is... Oh! That photo class, um, I'm starting to learn a lot more. Like, I've already known how to use uh, Photoshop, but I'm learning all the, like, ins and outs, how to use it correctly, <laughs> basically, and all the cool stuff that you can do with it. So I'm actually going to create my own YouTube banner soon. I know my channel doesn't look all that professional because I don't have, like, a cool banner. Um, I just never really looked into it because I knew I wanted to design my own. So that's what I'm going to do is draw up my own banner. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do it, like, with my... Because I got a tablet for this class the Intuos uh, Pro Medium tablet um, that lets you like draw onto your um, projects in Photoshop and it just helps you, um, it's a better interface to use Photoshop and all those like Adobe Suite programs with. Um, so I'm going to draw my own banner and might start doing a little bit of graphic arts on the side. Um, I think that might be fun. But yeah, uh, what else am I doing? I think that's about it for right now. Um, next year will be my last year, so... My mom is coming here on Wednesday. That's the last thing. Um, but yeah, so I do want to do... I know somebody said they were interested last time when I mentioned it. I really want to do a QA. and a So if you guys have any questions, I'll probably come up with some myself just to, to like tell you like where I'm from, what I do, blah, 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 all that stuff. My favorite color, all those basics. Um, but if you guys have any like burning questions that you want to ask me that I'd love to do a Q&A about, um, just let me know. Write them down below. Um, but if you want to, just comment down below, or if you have any video suggestions, I'm completely open to suggestions. Um, so yeah, uh, you guys have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!